What's up everyone, Tristan here, back doing achievement guides, and we are still in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard because we haven't completed it yet, and we're going for Out Before Dessert. So, that requires you to complete the Happy Birthday videotape within 5 minutes. So I'm going to show you how to get the Happy Birthday videotape. First and foremost, we need the Snake Key. I won't tell you how to get it, because that's a spoiler, and you don't want the game spoiled for you. But we'll make it into this room finally, after I show you the Snake Key, and for some reason decided to analyze it and examine it. But go over to this lamp right here, press A, there'll be a button, so press A, it'll bring down the ladder you can see in the background right there we're gonna go up that ladder into this attic space it's really creepy I don't know why the attic necessarily would have to be in this kids room it's really creepy but once we get up the ladder there's this cabinet right here we're going to grab the videotape which says happy birthday conveniently placed for us and we're gonna go back down the ladder across the hall to the rec room and throw it in the VCR and we're actually going to start this achievement it's pretty simple it's pretty easy you probably would find it on your own anyway but I decided to show you regardless and here I am just kind of like, oh, is there any going to be anyone over there? Hopefully, hopefully not. And then so we're going to throw it in there. You'll have the long loading screen with all the colors. And we're going to cut here to actually when Lucas starts dragging us. I believe this is when the time starts. I'm not 100% sure. If you are 100% sure that this is where the time starts, please comment below and let other people know. Help them out because I'm not 100% sure. And I also recorded this like a month ago, so I have no idea what's happening really anymore. So Lucas will drag you in here. There will be a lot of dialogue with this, so that really eats into your time. So you have to know what you need to do, or you'll get fucked and you'll have to do it again. That's the good part, though. You can just put the videotape back in and just redo it. No problem. So just do that if you don't get in the five minutes. This is actually the second time I had to do it, because I didn't fucking make it the first time. So, you know, you just got to know what to do, and I will show you what to do. So the first thing you need to do is you need to grab the candle from fucking this Pennywise creepy looking guy. If you don't know who Pennywise is, go watch it. It's a great clown movie. The clown is very nice. He's awesome. So we need to make our way to the birthday cake here. This will prompt Lucas to actually start the... You can actually... He'll start this long, fucking long-winded dialogue. Oh my gosh. This really... It just really eats into your time. So we want to stand by this medicine cabinet because immediately we're go after he's done talking, we're going to put in the combination for it so we can actually get going on the achievement more quickly. We're actually skipping a few steps. So that actually optimizes your time. That's what you need to do. So finally, he's done talking almost, and then we put in the combination. It is, if I believe, the hanging person. It's the fucking little cake thing, and then the baby. That'll open it up, and there will be the stick person in here. Really creepy. It says you. It's a foreshadow. And then you, you want to turn to your left, and you want to grab the fucking winding wheel out of this. So we're going to wait for that. You can't move after you prompt to actually start unwinding it. Now we're going to run over to the oven. We're going to turn on the oven here. We're actually going to do a few things. We're going to light our candle. Not first, though. We're going to fucking burn this little person, and it'll give you a finger. Yeah, creepy, right? It's, there's a finger inside of a person. Who would have thought? But we have the finger. We're going to go run over and put it on the clown right there. And then we're going to put in his winding wheel, or what is it? I don't even uh, like winding key. There it is. All right, and then we're going to go back over here. We are going to light our candle finally now, and then we're going to go over to our right, and we're going to burn the rope, and we're going to go in here. We're going to grab a balloon, and this balloon is pr it's a pretty fucked up balloon, if I have to say so myself. It's not a good balloon. So we run over here. Balloons right here. All this stuff spawns in the same exact spot. Always the same combination for everything, so don't worry about it. What you need to do after you grab the balloon, bring this over here. You'll blow it up right like so, right like so. That doesn't make any sense. Cut that. I'm not cutting that. But you'll get a nice little nail through your hand. That's not what we need, though, so we're just going to rip that out. And We have a pen, a quill pen just embedded in us. Harry Potter got really mad and threw his quill at us. Professor Snape was, you know fucking talking about his mom again he's like haha i got your mom i love her he's like fuck you snape and throws a quill at us i don't know why i went on that whole harry potter thing we put the quill in his hand turn the winding key and then this is terrifying he's going to write the password in our arm for us it's really nice that we're gonna have it permanently and forever but i don't really maybe he could have just wrote it on the paper not just just my thought but we're a loser because we let this guy just write on our arm we let a fucking animatronic clown right loser on our arm we kind of are a loser so then what you need to do is you need to haul Krev back into the room where he got the balloon and there will be a password right here for the door it'll be loser of course because it's embedded on our arm so spell it out for you yourself l-o-s-e-r i almost said z what the fuck that would be awkward if i can even spell but i i can't spell spelling's hard english is a hard language to learn ladies and gentlemen 
walk in here, grab the valve handle, and then what we need to do is we need to run back through the water. It'll turn off our candle, unfortunately, but we'll put on the valve and turn off the water. Boom, like that. And we're turning off the water now. We're turning. We're turning off the water. Almost done here. Just one more thing to do. The fucking lights will almost... Well, not yet. The lights will go off after we light the candle again. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. So all of a sudden, it's all dark. Lucas is like, oh, he's really close. Let me turn off the lights on him. That's That'll get him. And we put the candle in there. Happy fucking birthday. Got a light. We put the candle in there. And then our achievement pops if we did it within five minutes or less. 40 gamer score, rare achievement, out before dessert. Complete the happy birthday videotape within five minutes. There you are, ladies and gents. A quick 40 gamer score in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and then check back to Nile Gaming for more. Later.